Hello and welcome. Today is 6th December 2020 and we are learning rational numbers. This is CBSE Class 8 Daily Math video. Today we are going to find out how do we solve a rational number expression such as this. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Every day we are learning Class 8 daily math videos and we have been learning about rational numbers. Today we are going to apply a lot of the knowledge that we have learned in the last few days and bring it together. So let's go ahead and find out how do we solve a question like this. So the first thing that we will do is we are going to distribute the multiplication over addition. So we are going to multiply these two and then we are going to multiply these two. So we are going to distribute this multiplication over this addition. So what will this look like? So let's write it over here. So this will become equal to, we will have 3 by 5, which is this number here. Then we will multiply this first by minus 2 by 3. So let's write minus 2 by 3. And let's put a bracket around it. So this is our first term, which is 3 by 5 times minus 2 by 3. Then we have to write this plus term. So let's write the plus term here. And now we have to multiply 3 by 5, let's write 3 by 5, times, this time we are multiplying this by 1 by 4. 1 by 4, this is how we write it. Then comes these two terms. So here we have a multiplication happening between these two. So we can write this as, so let's write a plus, and then let's open parenthesis, let's write minus 1 by 7 times 14 over 16. Parenthesis close. Then we have plus and then we are again doing this multiplication, multiplying these two terms together. So if you write parenthesis like that, it just makes it much more easy and compact for us to be able to visually see which operations we are doing and in what order. So let's write equal to. So what do we have here? So remember when we multiply, so let's say we have a by b times c by d. So the way we do that is we multiply the numerators, then we divide it by, we multiply the denominators. So this will look like, and I'm going extremely step by step without skipping any step. So it will be 3 times minus 2 divided by 5 times 3. Then here we will have similarly, in the numerator we will have 3 times 1, and denominator we will have 5 times 4. Let's close the parenthesis plus here we will have minus 1 times 14 divided by 7 times 16 and then for the last term we will have 2 times 9 divided by 3 times 10. Now we will see that we have a lot of common factors in numerator and denominator. For the first term the 3 and 3 will cancel out so we will be left with simply minus 2 by 5. For the second term here, can we cancel any of the terms from numerator to denominator? We can't. So we will simply write this as plus 3 times 1 is 3 by 5 times 4 is 20. What about the third term? So clearly here 7 times 1 is 7 and 7 times 2 is 14 and 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 8 is 16. So this will become, don't forget the minus sign here. So this will be minus 1 by 8. Right? Because we are left with 8 here. Plus, now here what we can do, we can say 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 3 is 9. And this will be 5. So we are going to have 3 by 5. So finally, we have these four rational numbers. So let's see which we can group. So here we have a 5 in the denominator. Here we have a 5 in the denominator. So let's write these two first. So let's say minus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5. Let's group these two together. Then we will just go from left to right. So then we are left with 3 by 20, which is this term here, and then minus 1 by 8. Minus 1 by 8. Right. Now let's go ahead and solve this. So here denominator will be 5, and this will be 3 minus 2. So it will be 1 over 5. So we will get 1 by 5 plus we have 3 
over 20 minus 1 over 8. Now we know that for rational numbers addition is associative. So it does not matter if we want to add 1 by 5 to 3 by 20 and then add my 1 minus 1 over 8 or we can say 1 by 5 minus 1 over 8 and then add 3 by 20. So since it is given this way, let's just go from left to right. So let's first perform this addition. So here the denominator will be, if you take LCM of 5 and 20, we will get 20 as the denominator. 5 times 4 is 20, so this will be 4 times 1 plus here we have 3, it will be 3 times 1. So let's extend that like this minus 1 over 8 and then we will have here 4 times 1 is 4, 3 times 1 is 3, so 4 plus 3 is 7 minus 1 by 8. Now we want to take the LCM of these two numbers. So if we do that we will get the, this to be 40. So 20 times 2 is 40, so we will write this as 7 times 2, then minus because we have a minus sign here. 8 fives are 40, so we will write this as 1 times 5. So let's do it over here. So now we have this is equal to 7 times 2 is 14. So let's write 14 minus 1 times 5 is 5, 5 over here, 5, 4, 0. And this will be simply 9. 9 divided by 40. So the answer to this expression is simply equal to 9 divided by 40. So this is how in a step-by-step -step systematic manner we go ahead and we apply all of the order of operations that we, we have learned via PEMDAS and all the properties that we have learned in the last few days that is the closure, the cumulative and the associative and the distributive property of rational numbers. This is how in a step-by-step -step manner we apply them. So again if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe so that you can get such videos every day delivered to your mailbox and definitely click the notification so that you will be able to get immediately notified.